Okay, now I want to tie all this together and let's build a really quick fake website and and use some of the some of the things we've learned so far throughout the course. And to do that, I'm going to go to Google and find us a template real quick. And I like the Twitter Bootstrap CSS theme, so I'm going to search for Start Bootstrap. There's a website called Start Bootstrap that has a lot of free themes, and it's just startbootstrap.com. And if you scroll down and click the View All Themes, you can sort of look through here and see all the different free themes that you can download. And we're just going to download a, a very simple blog post type of site. And let's take a look at this before we do anything. Click the Live Preview button. And here's, it's just a very simple layout, but you can see we've got our nav bar, some links, you have this sidebar thing here, you have a blog title, you have the date, you have some stuff. Uh, we won't be doing any, anything with this comment. comment. Commenting system is beyond the scope of this course, but uh, you'll be able to see it at least. Take a look at it. And here we down at the bottom we have our copyright. So this is a very simple template and we can use this to sort of uh, showcase some of the things we've learned so far and, uh, and start looking at templating things out. So let's go ahead and download this. I'm just going to click the download button and I'm just going to download it to my desktop. And so if I double click this and or you can single click it or right click it and click extract all extract. Okay, so I can delete the zip file. And these are the files right here. Start bootstrap. So essentially this is what we need. These files right here. These first four listings. These three directories and this index file. So what we want to do is we can highlight these. And I did this by holding down the shift key and then clicking index and then pushing the up arrow key to highlight them all. And I'm just going to left click on here and hold the click down and drag these things over to our browser and up to our thing here and I'm just going to drop them. Oops. You know what actually first let's delete our about page. Let's clean some of this up. And let's let's delete our old trusty index.php file too. Uh, where's the delete? Okay. Yes. Okay, so we've got our variables file, our composer.json file for Heroku. So go back here, drag these over, and you want to drop them on the little directory thing where it says PHP test here, right there. So it, everything sort of highlights. And you can see down here it's uploading those files to our development environment. And boom, 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 there they all are. So our main file is now called index.html. So if we come to our website, hit reload. Boom, all of this stuff that was up here is now on our site, which is cool. Well, we want to change this from .html. Let's rename this to .php because we want to use PHP. And let's pull this thing up. Now, this might look scary. This is a lot of HTML. And we haven't covered HTML in this course. This is a course on PHP, obviously. And if you're not familiar with HTML, this might look overwhelming, but it's really not that bad. And just for the purposes of all of this, you don't really need to learn what all this stuff is. I'll walk you through what you need to learn, but take a minute to just sort of look at this. You can see, here's the nav bar. It says nav. It says start bootstrap there. That corresponds to this thing right there. And here's about services and contact, which is obviously about services and contact, the link, those links. And if we scroll down, we see the blog post title, which is obviously this guy. And you can sort of see a bunch of gibberish. That's all this gibberish. And so, it, you know, it, it looks overwhelming if you're not familiar with HTML, but this is very simple stuff. So don't worry, we're gonna walk you through it all. But the first thing we wanna do, let's start customizing this now. So we need to add that PHP line that we had in the last video, include variables.php, close our tag, save this. Now we can pull out all the variables and all the different things that we want from this variables file. Now right now we only have two things, in fact let's change this back to dog grooming ink. Right, so this is our site title. 
And one thing we could do right away is just come in here and put that on the nav bar. So here and the title. So let's change this to PHP echo site title. And I'm just going to copy this because we're going to paste it somewhere else too. And let's scroll down here and find the nav bar. Here's obviously our navigation. And here it says start bootstrap. So let's just erase that and paste this in here. And if we save this, come back here, we should see Super Dog Grooming Inc. is up here on the nav bar. And also if we hover on our title bar, it's up there too. So right away, we're already starting to play with this. Now let's look down here at the bottom. One more thing we can do really quickly, copyright C your website 2014. Well, what can we do with that? Let's come down here, scroll down to the bottom and here it is, copyright, see your website. Well, let's erase the your website and put our site title. And let's change this also, 2014. We can make this dynamic because we have the date function, right? So we can make this all one PHP tag or we can put it in two. So let's just go date. We know that capital Y is just the year. Close our tag. Let's save this. And if we come back here and hit reload, now it's copyright C, Super Dog Grooming Inc. Oops, you know what? We forgot to echo it. Got to echo out the date. Save it. Reload. 2016. So now, for the rest of eternity, every time the year changes, this will change too. So if our website has 2,000 pages on it next year, we won't have to go into each of those 2,000 pages and update the stupid copyright date on each page. It will update, update automatically. And likewise with our, our title here, if in the future we don't want to put Super Dog Grooming Inc. there, maybe we want to put, maybe we want to change this to dog grooming.com. So if we just save it there and reload, boom, now it says doggrooming.com. It also says it up here. So maybe, maybe we want to change this back, keep our site title like this and create another variable and let's call it footer copy right name. And let's call this doggrooming.com. Right, so we copy this, head back over here, come back to our variable here and change it to that. Hit save, hit reload, and boom, it's disappeared completely. <laughs> Put her copyright name. Oh, we forgot to save this file. Okay, there we go. Boom, doggrooming.com or whatever your domain name is, 2006 or 2016. But up here we have Dog Grooming Inc. because that's what our title is. And there we go. So in the next video, I'm gonna start to go through here and we're gonna play around with some more things. Before we do that though, I should just spend a second mentioning these other directories and these other files. We didn't talk about any of these things, but you can see there's all kinds of stuff stuck in these directories. And you don't really need to know what any of these are. To make this look the way it does, it requires some CSS. And those CSS files are in here. And you can look through there if you like. Uh, here's the CSS for it. This is using Twitter Bootstrap. And then now they just call it Bootstrap uh, CSS framework. If you wanted to modify these, you could, for instance, see here, body padding top 70. Let's change that to 170 and see what happens. Boom, everything got pushed down, you see. Change it back. See the titles down here. If we hit reload, boom, everything pops back up. So CSS is what you use to modify the look and feel of a website. That's beyond the uh, scope of this course. We're not gonna talk about HTML or CSS, really. Uh, I just wanna sort of point out these files really quickly. Uh, here's some font files that the thing uses. Some JS, this is your JavaScript stuff. Uh, Bootstrap uses a little bit of JavaScript for like drop down menus and things like that those files are listed there uh, so that's what all that stuff is we just dragged it all and dropped it from that template that we downloaded so we don't really care what it is we don't need to know what it is but it's there if you want to look at it and play with it so 
Okay, that's all for this video. In the next video, we will start to customize this thing a little bit more. And if you want to get my entire PHP course absolutely free, head over to codemy.com slash free PHP. That's codemy.com slash free PHP.